Okay, we're going to talk about cash flows. Now, cash flows are simply sums of money that are paid or received at particular times. So, a cash flow projects sets. Oh, sorry, a cash flow projection sets out the expected payments and receipts under a contract. The provider of a financial product will usually aim to match expected payments and receipts. This is not a trivial exercise because of the amounts and timing of the cash flow relating to both the payments and receipts as they might be uncertain. Talking about uncertainty, when there is this with the amount or timings of cash flow, an actuary can assign probabilities to both the amounts and the existence of a cash flow. Alternatively, the provider may decide not to match expected payments and receipts, but instead hold additional capital to cover the risk that the assets are insufficient to cover the liabilities. Now, why do we delve into cash flows? We want to understand products better, we want to get a feel for cash flow patterns, see the impact of fees, understand the capital requirements, and look at what happens on discontinuance. So it's a very important chapter in the sense that it forms the foundation for the later ones to come up. Okay, with cash flows, I think this is the most important slide is to ask yourself the following question. Whose perspective is it from, are you looking at? You know, is it the company or the individual? What are the main cash flows? And now, whether the cash flows are fixed or real, is the amount known? Is the amount certain? Is the timing known? Is it a lump sum or a annuity? Is it increasing or decreasing? And is it positive or negative? And a way to remember this is to think of the acronym FACT LIP. Like fat lip, but with a C in the middle. I don't know. Okay. Whole life assurance. So now, what we're going to do with these is the green means certain and the red means uncertain. So whole life assurance, payment and amount certain, timing uncertain. Pure endowment. Bam, you can see the UCTA. Transactions on as cool as mine. Term assurance. Endowment. The immediate life annuity. You should know these from um, earlier courses. So this is just a nice little recap this is short-term assurance what we can be dealing a lot with you can see they all uncertain now what is this well this looks like a death benefit or you getting some sort of pension ah got it right And this could be a bond. Yeah, fixed interest only or a loan. What's that? Oh, that's variable interest. What about from the individual's perspective? Yeah, this is someone buying a loan. No, no, what is this? You're making regular payments. Oh, so this is from the individual's thing. And this will be uh, endowment assurance. Okay, there might be specific cash flow scenarios, but I don't think we'll have any problems with that. What could that be? You buy a product and then you die immediately. And yeah, that's just a summary of, of all of them. All cash flow patterns. So we've looked at premiums, normal policy benefits, what other other cash flows does the provider experience? Well, he's got all those expenses, you know, product development, computer systems, etc. 
this continuance benefits transfers to and from investment vehicles and profits like I said this is a foundation um, chapter so just have a general overview of it and you remember expenses will be the negative cash flows okay why do we pay commission up front brokers expect um, expenses occur upfront. Many broker activities do not result in a sale, but incur cost, barrier to entry. Brokers may not live out duration of policy, and it's just historical practice. Okay, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff on the ethicalness of brokers, which you can read. Churning and twisting, and not in the best incentives, and all of that. Enjoy. This is how general fun would be. This is important when we come to discontinuance. This build up of fun. So regular premium products generally create strain at start. Single premium products are too expensive. Products with certain benefits build up higher asset levels, and products that are pure insurance have lower asset levels. Fees are mainly incurred upfront, but for good and bad reasons. And yeah, that's cashless.